How's it going everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is how to lose weight naturally and fast. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of my new videos. And thanks for doing that. So I was out here on my walk this afternoon and wanted to make this video. I have four main points on how to lose weight naturally and quickly. And then I'm going to also show you what I recently ate in a day. They like to do the eight in a day videos so that you can get ideas on foods to eat. All right, so let's see here. Four main points, how to lose weight the natural way and as quickly as possible or as safely as possible. Number one, focus on eating calorie dilute foods. So that means you want to eat foods that are natural in their whole form, high in water content, and fiber. Whole plant foods like fruits and vegetables, green salads, those type of foods are high in water content, they're high in fiber, they're gonna help fill up your stomach, and they're low, low calorie foods essentially. So lots of fruits and vegetables, uh, green salads, um, and when you start getting into the plant foods like you know, breads and pastas, those are obviously a little processed and they're gonna be higher in calories. Then when you get into foods like nuts, seeds, and avocados, those are higher fat foods that are even more calorie dense. Calorie dense. So you wanna really limit those foods if you're trying to lose weight. Uh, I, of course, include a lot of these foods in my diet because um, I'm not trying to lose weight, but if you're, you know, needing to lose weight, then just stick to more fruits and vegetables and you know things like sweet potatoes and zucchinis and squash things like that so that's number one focus on calorie dilute foods number two is you want to start intermittent fasting so you're, you want to pick get an eating window that works with your schedule and i highly recommend you stop eating at least three to four hours before you go to sleep so let's say you go to bed at 10 p.m. You want to stop eating by 6 p.m. or so. Uh, the earlier the better because this will give your body time to digest the food. So that way when you go to sleep at night, you have more time to you know, burn fat and recover. So it's extremely important. You want to limit the time that you eat until, and then when you wake up in the morning, wait several, you know, three, four, five hours before you start eating. So that way you can get into a intermittent fasting window that works for your schedule. So that's super important. Look, check out intermittent fasting. I talk a lot about it on my videos if you're not yet doing that. Uh, the third thing is you want to definitely get exercise every day. Whatever kind of exercise you like to do, go do it doesn't really matter but I definitely recommend adding some strength training you know actually work your muscles um, that's gonna help burn fat as well I make a lot of videos on my workout routine so check out that playlist I'll put a link to uh, one of the videos there and um, these workouts a lot of the workouts that I do you don't need any equipment so you can do them anywhere in your living room your garage um, very simple you know I always show modifications so there's really no excuses you know work your muscles and get that exercise uh, get out on walks as well that's I do a lot of walking and the fourth thing is make sure you're getting good sleep at night so you have time to rest and recover this is super important and um, you know make sure the room is dark it's not too warm uh, it's quiet and get good sleep. So those are the four main points. Calorie dilute foods, intermittent fasting, exercise, and good sleep. That's the best, those are the, some of the best ways to, uh, you know, lose that body fat and get in great shape. So with that being said, here is what I recently ate. Also, I wanted to mention, I'm now doing fat loss fitness coaching and motivation. So if you're interested in extra help, go ahead and email me, or you can send me a message on Facebook or Instagram, and the links are in the description box. Okay. So at 11 a.m., I started out with this smoothie, and I used one banana, I used a few tablespoons of chia seeds, a couple big handfuls of mixed greens, um, a cup of blueberries, and a scoop of Marcus Roscrans Green Pro C mix. So that's a good smoothie I like to have, some combination of that, and there it is. And again, that was at 11 a.m., good way to start off my food for the day. Then at 3 p.m., I made this dish I found from another YouTuber called Vegetable Police. Check his channel out, it's really good, but I just basically 
put in the Instant Pot broccoli, onion, uh, garlic, zucchini, and mushrooms. And actually next time I will not use the garlic because it was too strong. But basically just steam those for a minute and I blended together this sauce right here. It was an orange, a handful of cashews, a Brazil nut, a clove of garlic, a tablespoon of chia seeds, and some spices, cumin, paprika, and chives, um, some Cajun seasonings, things like that. So I just blended that up for the sauce and that was a good meal and there it is right there. So just got a big bowl of steamed vegetables and put through on that sauce to make it nice and tasty. And that is a good dish. Try that out. Tell me what you think of that. So that was at 3 p.m. And then next at 6 p.m. I had, um, oh, I actually had an apple with that dish as well. Forgot to mention. And then at 6 p.m. I had a large salad. It had greens, uh, cucumber, avocado, tomatoes, apple, celery, walnuts, and carrots. So a nice big salad. I had some leftover um, vegetable soup that I had, and I had a piece of whole grain bread with peanut butter. So thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like it, and we'll be back soon. Bye-bye.